fellas, fellas, fellas. Thanks for sitting down with me. Yo, 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 yo. How y'all doing today, man? Doing great. Man, man. living like to the max, my bro, out here in California. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. So as told and as promised, ladies and gentlemen, I am sitting here with the fellas of GW Smoke Break TV. Um, Please introduce yourselves. Let the people know who you are. Well, here, since I'm uh, ice cream list, I'll, I'll, I'll start off first. <laughs> My name is Rolf. Uh, uh, I'm a videographer, and uh, we've been doing uh, been doing this with GW Smoke Break for about over a year now. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm from the Bay Area. Okay. Uh, city. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, dog. No, <laughs> Sean here? Yo, what's up, you guys? I'm Sean Ye. Um, you know, I'm kind of the, I guess, original video guy. Daniel approached uh, originally back in April 2019 when he had okay. kind of the idea. Um, and, uh, yeah, Daniel and I have been riding this thing out since then. Grabbed Rolf. And we've just been pedal to the floor, you know what I mean? And, uh, and here we are on your show, bro. So thanks for having us. Oh, and Daniel. Man. Yeah, man. My name is Daniel Montero. I'm here, born and raised in San Jose, California. I'm okay. a legacy career cannabis operator. I've been with the plant full time since I was a teenager. Never left your side. Uh, I got a criminal record uh, to prove it. Uh, so some actually, it's funny because it's shit like that now that it's like, you know, kind of points on your end because there's so many posers out here trying to be about it when they have no clue what it is like to be connected to the people. So for me, it's it's my honor to be working with these guys. They're very humble. Without Rolf's uh, input, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be where we're at. And without Shawnee's input and leadership, definitely wouldn't be where we're at. And, and Rolf definitely leads in many different ways as well. And as a crew, I'm really proud of the work we're doing, which is uh, being an industry leader here in California when it comes to authentic California cannabis culture. And what that means is when it really comes from a place of um, those of us who participated before legalization, because okay. if your incentive is purely money, you got to, and you're only coming into it now because uh, it's legal, then you're definitely not the end all be all when it comes to cannabis culture and the terms cultural wealth and cultural sovereignty are terms that I'm going to teach y'all and share with y'all today. And it's what we're capitalizing on. And it's what the people have is their assets where a, a corporate company that doesn't have that um can't compete in that regard even though they got more money they got it yeah. they got it that's so why michael jordan gets sponsored by they the got game. the machine but they don't have the idea nike's got the athletes and it's necessary to have that uh relationship to the people you know because without it they're hollow because they're just about the money for them you know what i'm saying for the most part mm -hmm. yeah so we're okay. proud of our work my man you know we're, we're doing some uh cutting edge work 100 percent. it's all real we we carry a different vibe with us um and I would say that there is nobody else that's quite doing the work like we're doing. Um, and I think we've inspired a lot of people to have their talk shows and have their platforms to talk yeah. about this culture. You know, I was looking at yeah. your channel and it's some really great high quality material. And I was just like, man, see, I love this. Um, your interviews go in depth. You actually talk about subjects that matter. And I know I've known since our first conversation that Daniel, you know, um, our first conversation on the NCIA talks that you were passionate about cannabis and about the people, you know. So that's one thing that resonates on all of your channels uh, across all platforms 